also rumours continue to bubble. This time we're taking a look at a right back currently linked with Blackburn Rovers. Who's what we're talking about? We'll tell you all about it next. That's right, folks. Batman's game with another transfer rumour, bringing you bang up to date with all the ro rovers linked with rovers over the course of the summer. We'll take a look in just a second. Of course, if you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe and bang up to all things rovers related, transfer rumours related, bloody world football related. We've got all here, boys, under one rooster. Who am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about Regan Bloody Paul. That's right, coming at you from Lincoln. We'll take a look at him and what he brings to the table in just a second. Of course, people shout out to my VIPs. They are the patrons, of course. You know who you are. Respect where respect is due. Now, we are going to go to a uh, source here. Now, this is a, a fan vlog or whatever you want to call it. So, we've got to read the breadcrumbs, of course, into this. Now, the, the link is actually right here. Lanks Live uh, coming at you from... Um, if I clicked on that, will it go? It might go there. It might go there. But it is Legan Paul currently out of Lincoln City, um, of course... Uh, written by Elliot Jackson, Batman Rovers reporter. Uh, he, did, he did a QA, and a I think, for Twitter and, and then um, uh, delivered these responders, responses to uh, to this guy. And amongst the, There's two other names in there, but we're talking about this guy, this guy alone. Lincoln City captain Regan Paul. Uh, of course, who is he? What can he bring to the table? What position does he play? What, can, what kind of stuff can we uh, look forward to uh, seeing if he was to join Ewood? Uh, park in this campaign. So let's take a little look at him. Here he is in all his glory. Um, of course, Regan Paul played he's a Welsh descent. Um, 24 years of age, 1.8 metres tall. He plays as a right back significantly. But as you can see from this graphic here, can play across the middle and also in defensive midfield if we want to go there. Versatility is key. Um, and again, coming at you right here, right now, the, 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 <clears throat> the talk is that despite his fantastic end to the campaign, Joe Rankin Costello will not be, be be focused or will not predominantly predominantly not play at right back. Maybe push forward to a midfield slot. That is the talk, uh, which means Callum Britton will be the only real senior recognised right back. People can uh, argue with James Brown being a contender, but his League Two low moves didn't really show any significant uh, signs that he has uh, he can make the step up right now uh, but 24 years of age Regan uh, Poole comes with pedigree uh, leadership experience kind of like what uh, if we if we can mimic it perhaps to that of Harry Pickering who was captain for crew on the left hand side we could we could we could build ourselves a core uh, a core you know uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Commanding back four here. We'd have Dominic Hyam, ex-captain of Coventry. We'd have Harry Pickin, ex-captain of Crew. We'd have uh, this guy, Regan Poole, ex-captain or current captain of Lincoln City. Um, uh, three of the back four there are former captains of their previous clubs. Um, and, uh, and uh, yeah, it'll be, it would be sig senior or significant experience added to the team. And we are looking for players of that ilk yes we are our pedigree right now is uh, bringing in youngsters and that's where the money's at uh, the adam wartons the hayden carters uh the the maybe the tyree stolens the buckleys uh, all could uh, leave within the next two years or so for significant change the phillipses of the world as well so uh but what does this guy bring to the table well go back and have a let's have a closer look at it he's played 45 times for link in the imps this season uh, scoring two goals three assists from right back, three yellow cards. He was in the starting level 98% of the time, which shows the lack of injuries, the lack of, of suspensions and all that kind of stuff. 98% of the minutes uh, he played as well for his team. It was involved 11% of the goal participation from right back, which is a good, good number. Um, he has represented Wales, Wales um, uh, at junior level. I don't think he's made the, the jump to, um, to the senior squad. We'll look at that in a minute. But this is, of course is what he's looking at here so uh, i i i thought i'm still under the the uh understanding and he might be he might be a uh center back or i, I don't, i'm not gonna, i'm not i'm not here to tell you i'm his best mate and i know what he had for dinner and all this kind of stuff i don't i don't know this guy i don't i'm just going off the numbers I'm going from the stats i'm going on for from from what i've read a little bit you know what i mean so it says center back he has also said right back says right, right midfield here. Uh, he's a defender. He's a defender. He, he, I would say you could probably put him in uh, a versatile slot here. Uh, if he is coming in as a centre-back, then we've lost Ayala. 
you know, you could probably put him in as the, 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 the replacement for Ayala. That's what I would put it. Then question marks will remain uh, for the right back slot. But then also if you flip it around, maybe he has come in as a, as a sort of a, a, a blurred sort of defender. That, that part that's, that is one for one, replaces Ayala, but also can play centre back, can play right back um, if Callum Britton is injured. So, you know, kind of two birds, one hole, and then promoting Ashley Phillips to be the, uh, to the, be the replacement uh, centre-back. I don't know. It's, it's, it's what you think. Uh, let's take a look at his pedigree then, shall we? Of course, uh, formerly of Manchester United. He actually played one time for Manchester United. <clears throat> and he's also had time uh, at Northampton Town, uh, Newport County, MK Dons, but before moving and settling down, really, at Lincoln City. Uh, League One has been the pinnacle of his of his uh, professional career, playing 172 times in total, scoring four goals and nine assists. He has played League Two level 35 times, <coughs> probably a uh, guesstimate here. <laughs> a lot of those games <coughs> must have been for Northampton Town or, or Newport, probably Newport County. <coughs> he's also played in the playoffs um, for League League One and League Two. So he's, so he's been there, he's experienced the playoffs. And according to those numbers, you would imagine both of those uh, led to a playoff finals because three games in the playoffs, you're looking at maybe a Northampton Town there or Newport County or, or an MK Dons. Uh, so he's, he's, he's been there, he's experienced it. Um, and that could, could just, you know, that's what we need. That, that sort of mentality, that understanding, the composure, that sort of stuff is what we're missing. We have missed play. We have not, we have not had players uh, or, or, or the players that we have you know, I've seem, seem to have got picked up this Blackburn Rovers bug where we, the mental stature kind of collapses around about April or something like that, and we just fall off the face of it, and and, and we need to get that right, that we corrected, and guys like this who who know how to steamroll it to the end of the season is what we're missing, and and as I say those words coming out of my mouth, I feel you know what this guy, this guy ticks a heck of a lot of the, lot, lot of the boxes, uh, plays for 23 uh, games for the under 21s for Wales. And again, I think a move to a championship club will more than likely see him make the senior squad uh, in the next campaign or so. Let's take a little look then at Callum Britton. Now, as you can see, it, it flip-flops around. It flip-flops around all over the place. Um, so it says right back here. The couple of graphics back, it says centre back. So I'm going in as a right back. I'm going in. His main position is a right back corner transfer mark. That's what I've read. He's a little bit, just a smidgen taller than that of uh, of, of Britain. He's a little bit younger than him, a year the younger than him. And uh, again, has been successful in his time. And Lincoln, that stuff, you can't buy that stuff, or you can if you're Man City. But, you know, that sort of stuff is it, going gonna, gonna to leave an impression. You know, the, 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 the composure, the, 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 the tenacity that he has instilled for his, his, his previous clubs, getting them to the, through those playoffs, could only do us the world of good. Um, more versatile than that of Callum Britton, again, much more uh, affordable than that. His contract, I believe, expires. So, uh, again, picking the, uh, players up like Regan Poole, Leo Ennis uh, from Plymouth. These are the deals that we're in right now. We cannot afford the, man, the mega money deals. And if we can afford them, we probably will have to uh, put all our cash in, in a couple of pots. Uh, but we need to bring in, I think, six, at least six to six players, maybe even more than that. Um, so the, he would be a good addition to add. Uh, let's take a look at the values then. Of course, Britain's value is, is, is peaked around about two million now, uh, whereas uh, Pools is around about 500,000. Do we have numbers? We do have numbers. Uh, of course, 289 games scored by Regan Paul. He is younger uh, compared to Callum Britton, who's played 244 games as well. League One stats there, 70 games for Callum Britton. Of course, Regan's played much more games uh, than he has as well. Uh, again, not really too significant in regards to defenders, but his number of goals per game uh, or, or minutes per goal is less than Callum Britton. Um, and again, picking up four goals. Uh, what is he? Seven goals in total compared to the five. Uh, the assists are the same, so you know what it is. I'm not saying it's an upgrade, but it's definitely uh, some food for thought for Rovers if we were to get over the over the line. And definitely, competition is what we need. Uh, it looks like you know um, Rovers are going to have a, a busy summer. 
um, both in and out. Uh, if we're going to generate some funds, we've already lost some key players, the key individuals that we need, some signings to get bums on seats. I feel this is not one of those bums on seats kind of players, but we need competition for spots. If JRC has been pushed forward into midfield, then Callum Britton needs a competition as a left back. If Teo Teo Dunn moves on, uh, who's going to be the competition for left back? I do not want to see Callum Britton uh, operating as a left back, uh, you know, inverted left back. I think it's slow. It's, it adds an extra step, you know, it's pausing to get it back on the right foot to cross it in there. So I feel Callum Britton should be on the right hand side. I think Pickering should be on the left hand side. This guy would be a uh, competition for those spots and, 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 and take your chance whenever you get it. Look at JRC, took his chance. He had a bit of a stuttered start, but then he continued and um, progressed further and, 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 and mailed that right back slot his own, keeping Callum Britton out. Same for Hayden Carter, came in, took out uh, Scotty Wharton, took out Ayala in the end uh, to become the number one uh, centre back alongside Dom Hyam. So. We need those. We need those things. Just like uh, Ainsley Pears came in, took took over the number one jersey from uh, Kaminsky. We need players to fight for the jersey. We cannot have. I I did not like the days where uh, Darren Lennon was nailed on um, uh, centre back. Uh, the days where where I don't know there was other positions that were nailed on that uh, just had no they had no one knocking on the door, breathing over their necks. This guy can breathe over the neck of Callum Britton as well as maybe the centre back slots if he was to be fortuitous. But until then, guys, that's what I've got for you. Let me know your thoughts about this guy. Uh, and, of course, hopefully we'll see more rumours for rowers over the next few days. But until then, subscribe, thumbs up, and, of course, hit the little bell. Until then, I'll see you soon for the next.